Hey everybody, today is Monday, September 18th, 2023, and we're here in Boyertown, Pennsylvania. And the reason why we are in Boyertown, Pennsylvania today at the Church of a Good Shepherd, United Church of Christ, is to um, talk about a, um, a sort of urban legend here in the area, if you will. Try to do some, uh, some investigation work on this urban legend and really couldn't come up with much much information so we're gonna discuss it today and and talk about this this interesting urban legend that happened here at this pretty awesome and amazing church with this really awesome clock tower on it the clock tower is actually from i believe it was 1920 which is pretty awesome they actually had a save the clock tower event for a while going on back in i think it was 2017 the state theater there's a little movie theater right down the road they had a whole thing going on where you could watch Back to the Future and all money like raised that day was was um, it, it went to proceeds to save the clock tower so they had kind of a whole Back to the Future save the clock tower event going on which was um, pretty amazing and the clock tower actually has been saved it is working they have renovated it re renovated it and it's, um, it's it's working nowadays which is pretty awesome so this church is really really cool I believe it was built in 1874 it's been expanded upon since then but in 1874 this church was was built but the reason why we're out here today isn't necessarily to talk about the church in of itself or even the the amazing clock tower as well the reason why we're out here today is to discuss the urban legend that is their graveyard there's an interesting story about this graveyard and the national bank of boyertown which sits right next to the church and right next to the the cemetery so we're going to walk around to the back of the graveyard to take a look at something and this is how the the urban legend has has grown if you will you might notice that the cemetery sits right right next to the the bank and right next to the parking lots it sits right right up against the parking lot and again this this helps fuel the urban legend out here if you will and when you see what is back here in the back of the the cemetery in the back of the graveyard you will understand why this urban legend is a thing it's really really interesting and again i try to look up more information on this try to to look up some some history on this and unfortunately i could not actually find anything definitive i couldn't find anybody who had said anything yes this is definitely how it happened or a news article or anything like that unfortunately but here's the back of the church look at the amazing stained glass windows this church is actually quite beautiful but this is the interesting part right here are all of these headstones that sit all back to back like this now again as i've mentioned when i've seen cemeteries with headstones like this sort of lined up like this the reason for this is usually because graves have been misplaced or forgotten over the years and these tombstones these headstones have kind of been discarded and eventually what they'll do is they'll take them and they'll just sort of line them up to give the the headstones kind of proper memorial if you will but unfortunately the actual graves in of themselves are not right here the gravestones no longer go with the actual graves. And that is the case with these. Apparently, for a while, these headstones were just leaning up against a wall, and they eventually took them and properly properly displayed them here. I don't know if this, it says this, this memorial is dedicated to and in memory of those loved ones buried in the Old Lutheran and Reformed Union Church Cemetery, 1810 to 1887. These graves were um, re okay, it says reinterred to this site in 1971 to allow for the expansion of the church educational facility. So it does say they were, but it says were reinterred to this site. So again, I question what exactly is happening there. So when the actual, from what I was reading online, when the bank expanded and the parking lot was expanded and the, the church also expanded graves were supposedly moved 
but they may have not been moved. That is what I had read. That is the urban legend out here is that maybe quite possibly the graves were not necessarily moved and that right underneath this parking lot here and over here may indeed sit actual graves. That is the urban legend out here. Now I'm thinking that's probably not the case, especially after reading that, that little plaque right there, the, the, the marker, the dedication right there. I'm thinking that's probably not the case. I want to say, I want to say the, the church would not have done that. The church would not have allowed bodies to be paved over and people to be parking on top of bodies. But that's the urban legend out here is that the, the bodies may not have all been moved and that the bodies that were once buried with those headstones are now underneath us right here in this, in this parking lot and over here in this parking lot as well. That's, that is the old urban legend out here. And again, I couldn't actually find anything necessarily definitive as to whether or not that's the case. I couldn't find a news article saying that the bodies had been moved or you know the, the church was expanding or the, the bank was expanding and as such the church had dug up the bodies, removed the bodies. I couldn't find anything about that anywhere online. If you guys know any more information, by all means, leave comments down below. I did see, I did see some people posting photos about the cemetery. And in the photos, some people said, yeah, I think I remember back in like the 19 yada, 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 they, they maybe had moved some bodies. I think I remember hearing about them digging up and moving bodies. I think I heard something about that. So I read some people saying that. So I'm thinking, the urban legend probably is false. I think the bodies probably were moved, but still no definitive information I could find online. So the urban legend goes that this parking lot right here, right that we're standing on right now, possibly has bodies buried underneath it. That is pretty crazy to, to think about. And again, the cemetery does come right up next to the actual parking lot here. And I'm guessing over there behind the church at one point was also a cemetery as well, which is probably where those those headstones over there came from. I kind of wish they wouldn't have, this is, the, is this a gate or is this a, no, we can't, get, we can't get through here, unfortunately. I have to walk around these bushes every single time. I want to go back between the two sections of the, uh, the cemetery. But my assumption is that the, the gravestones back here, the ones that are all lined up in a row, are actually ones that were probably back here in this parking lot and where the the expansion onto the back of the church is located. That would be my assumption. So maybe underneath us right here, it's possibly where those graves once sat, or maybe possibly, again, as the urban legend goes, still do sit to this, to this day. Like I said, it's an urban legend out here, but I think it's an urban legend that maybe is debunked by that memorial plaque over there stating at the bodies were reinterred. I, I don't know though. But the question is, if that was the case, then why are all the, the tombstones out here like this? And were the bodies then just like dumped into a mass grave out here? Is that is that the case? Again, in memorial, there, this memorial is dedicated to, and in memory of those loved ones buried in the old Lutheran and Reformed Union Church Cemetery, 1810 to 1887. These graves were reinterred to this site, it says, in 1971 to allow for the expansion of the, of the Christian education facility, which I think is what's right behind us right here. So it says we're reinterred to this site. So possibly a mass grave right here of all those bodies. I'm not entirely sure what is happening here. But really interesting the way these graves, these headstones have been placed here in these in these rows. So again, not the original graves. If you come out here, there's not actual bodies buried necessarily right here as they would as they would usually be buried with the actual headstones. There's a lot of cemeteries, unfortunately, in the area that have that have this going on in the um, in the cemeteries where again graves have been misplaced over the years, or for one reason or another, headstones no longer go with actual bodies that are buried in front of them, which is a sad thing. And it is sad to think that this could happen to any of us. I always say that when I go to a cemetery, because I could do a lot. I, I love visiting cemeteries. I go to a lot of cemeteries. And every time I go out to a cemetery, I always think, especially ones that 
have issues like this where, again, graves have been misplaced or things like that have happened. I go out to these places and I think, this could happen to any of us. I, I, I have a burial plot. I already have a burial plot plot paid for. I'll be buried next to my dad, next to my grandmother and some other family members, my grandfather. I'll be buried out there someday when I do pass away. And I think to myself, okay, that's great and all, but who knows, like in a hundred years from now, possibly, maybe, that could be paved over. It could be, it could become a parking lot. It could become a shopping center. Maybe my body will be dug up and put somewhere else that I did not want it to be put. Maybe we'll be thrown into a mass grave somewhere to make for an expansion of a church or um, an expansion. It's not at a church. It's in just a cemetery, but, um, or a graveyard, but you never, you never know what could possibly happen. In Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, there's this graveyard. It sits right on the main street going through the main highway going through town. And every time I go down there, I always wait to the day where I see those graves dug up because it's a very, a very prime piece of real estate. And there's all these, there's all these buildings and businesses and all this stuff along this highway because it's a very big popular stretch of highway. And there's all, there's businesses all along it. Every last bit of stretch of highway has been taken up by some kind of business. When I was a little kid, there were farms on this road, not anymore. They're all gone. It's all shopping centers and Burger Kings and McDonald's and, and things like that all along this, this stretch of highway. And except for this one little spot where there's this, the cemetery and it's not an old cemetery. It's an, it's a, I mean, it's newer ish. It's a, it's not, it's not, you know, it doesn't date back to, you know, the 17 or 1800s or anything like that. It's still a newer ish cemetery. But I always say, when, when is the day where I see, I come out here and I see a Burger King stuck on top of this um, cemetery. Would not be surprised if someday that happens. There's a Revolutionary War soldier out here. Look at this, this grave right here, which you can't even read anymore. That's a Revolutionary War soldier. So again, wanted to bring you guys out here, talk about the urban legend that maybe possibly underneath our feet right here are the graves of those who were once buried out here from be, or behind this church. But in the 1970s, the expansion was done the parking lot was put here, the expansion to the church was done, and the graves were removed, removed, dug up, supposedly, or maybe they didn't quite move them and they still remain underneath our feet right now. Like I said, urban legend, I'm thinking it's probably not the case. I wanna see the church would not do something like that, but you never know. That's the way the urban legend goes. And I love a good urban legend because sometimes they're based in, in truth. Sometimes they're just completely crazy. I mean, I've debunked a couple already, but who knows about about this one but wanted to bring you guys out here so if you're from the Boyertown town area if you've ever heard the urban legend of these graves and the fact that perhaps possibly in the 1970s when the expansion to the to the bank and the parking lots and to the church and the parking lot was done that maybe possibly the bodies were not removed and right now underneath our feet are the remains of those bodies who who knows? If you guys have heard this um, this urban legend, this rumor, leave the comments down below. But all right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Just wanted to bring you out here. Wanted to show this to you. It is quite interesting. The grays in and of themselves, the, the, the headstones in and of themselves are quite interesting. Just the way they, they were placed out here. It is nice to actually see them at least sort of properly represented. Because again, last time I saw these graves, I've seen pictures of these graves, they were just leaning up against a wall. So it's nice to see them actually properly displayed out here. Even if the bodies aren't necessarily in front of the graves anymore, at least they have been properly displayed. And there's this nice dedication here, this memorial as well, which is really nice with all the different names, of all the people who were buried out here, which is pretty awesome. Look at this one right here. This is really cool. So anyway, pretty awesome, pretty interesting, pretty unique, crazy urban legend if you will, but it also makes you think that someday the grave you are buried in, the the plot, the burial plot you have, your loved ones have, the place where you think you're going to be spending eternity, your body will be spending eternity, whether, oh, there you go, look at that. The clock tower still chimes. That is pretty awesome. The clock tower has indeed been saved. That's amazing. But again, it makes you think that the, the place you and your loved ones are buried, the place you think that you will be spending eternity, your body will be spending eternity, might not be the place where your body actually spends eternity. You think you're safe, 
and your body will just always forever be there. But who knows? Someday your cemetery could be dug up. Someday your body could be dug up, could be moved, could be switched around to, to build an expansion or to build a parking lot. You never know what might happen. So just remember that when you, when you buy a burial plot, maybe try to buy it in a place where you don't think expansion is going to be happening, but you never really know. All right, guys. So again, I wanted to bring you out here, Boyertown, Pennsylvania. If you've heard of this urban legend, please leave your comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on this. If you have any more, any, any more information on this, leave a comment down below. Are you from the church? Maybe, maybe you work at the church. Maybe you're a member of the church. Maybe you have information on this. Maybe you're, you were, you, you remember when all this happens. Leave the comments down below because, like I said, I don't think this urban legend is true. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume my money would be on probably no bodies buried underneath this right now. That is the urban legend that that goes. That maybe all the bodies were not removed underneath our feet right now. Sits the bodies of those who were once buried out here or who may still be buried out here just underneath our feet now in a parking lot. You never know. All right, guys, like I said, leave comments down below. But I'm gonna let you go. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt. We're gonna grab yourself retro, rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon do help support the show. They keep the show going. It brings us up to awesome and amazing places like this to talk about interesting and crazy possible urban legends of bodies buried underneath a parking lot. All right, guys, if you watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag I love urban legends. Let's just do that. Hashtag I love urban legends. If you guys watch this video all the way until the very end. All right, guys, so like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, I will see you in the next video. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.